Hey everybody, Raven here, and I just got back from the really cool McKinney Coin Show down in Texas, ladies and gentlemen. The local coin club down there put on an excellent show, and I managed to get my hands on some really, really cool stuff. Uh, matter of fact, we'll start off with the proof sets. We got a couple of 1961 Franklin halves, of course, in there. 1961, it's original government packaging. The quarter, the dime, and the half dollar are proof. We got 261, so I'm not going to go through both of them, but I also got a couple 1964 proof sets that I should look at closely, maybe get lucky and have an accented hair if I, if I got really lucky. <laughs> uh, we got a bunch of uh, 1968 and 69 mint sets you guys know how i like giving these away and these are really cool because you get the 40 percent half and you get all the other coins in there that go with it two quarters two dimes three pennies because there's a p d and then the s penny in there so that is pretty cool uh ladies and gentlemen a run of barber halves and honestly the person that had these grades on there didn't grade them properly because a bunch of them have full liberties and whatnot. This 15D is a nice example, uh, but there's a 15D, 15S, a 12D. Now this one here, little, I think they're probably right on the VG, um, you know, but you don't see a lot of full rimmed nice barber halves like the 1911 here. They haven't marked as good, but I can see most of Liberty there. The rim is really nice. The reverse is really nice. And so there's a run all the way. Uh, there's 13 total um, in this group. And I was very fortunate to be able to get my hands on these. The oldest one being from 1899, New Orleans. Very neat and very cool. So that is something I was really happy to get my hands on. Um, I got my hands on a roll of uncirculated rosy dimes these are 1964s and i know rob is probably going to watch this and say raven you need to look for the doubling <laughs> so i will do that for sure but an entire roll of roosevelt dimes because you know i like giving out good silver uh these i might just put away in my deep stack i'm not 100 percent sure but the next thing was phenomenal ladies and gentlemen BU roll of Merck mixed date dimes. I mean, just phenomenal, my friends. Look at how gorgeous these really are. Um, I'll show you a couple. They are just beautiful. And as long as you handle coins properly, you know, you don't, uh, you handle them by their edges and you won't cause them any kind of damage or anything uh, by doing so. You're not going to hurt the coin but this entire roll all 50 they're all BU and there's different dates I didn't look through the entire roll at the dates so I haven't cherry picked anything um, I think that uh, I'll probably be pleasantly surprised when I do go through it hopefully I'll find a couple really neat gems in there I highly doubt there'll be a 16d but hey at least you can still find good stuff. I haven't seen a BU roll of Merc Dimes in quite a while. Um, it still goes on from there, my friends, because I got three rolls of Silver Eagles. The first roll, 1986. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first year of Silver Eagles, and these are absolutely stunners. 1986, they've been in these rolls for... You know, 40 plus year or 40 years, roughly. Um, you know, this is 38 years. I, I guess in, in 2026, they'll be 40 years old for this one. But still, very gorgeous. The whole entire roll is like that. No issues at, at all. And to find a roll of 86s is almost unheard of. But this entire roll is 86s. Then followed it up with an entire roll of 1987s. And then a roll of 1990s. These 90s are considered one of the better dates to get. And these are just beautiful. So that in itself, man. Three rolls of Silver Eagles. You can't go wrong. Then 
two amazing, beautiful hand poured vintage silver 10 ounce bars from CPM. These ends, I mean, they, they come out of Nevada and these suckers have gorgeous, gorgeous toning, my friends. I mean, just absolutely unbelievable. I was very happy to get these. Uh, I'm not sure if those will go in auction or in deep stack. You just never know. Then I got two rolls. Look at how beautiful. Brilliant uncirculated Kennedy halves, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, these guys just pop. Very, very nice. And um, I went through these. This other roll here, this one came from the same person as these. If you notice, there's some, some yellowing on the tubes which either they were heavy smokers or they put them somewhere where it got some light here and there. Uh, but this is the other B roll of the Kennedy halves. There's the one with some toning. Um, I notice when people are smokers, a lot of times the rolls will get a yellow kind of tint to them. Um, I went ahead and got a run of 1941. These are all MS 66 reds and they were all submitted at the same time. Cause you see there's 57, 58, 59. Um, I have a couple more that I got in this same run. I figured just showing you guys a couple examples would be cool. But MS66 Red, these are really, really nice. You don't see that kind of a beauty in uh, Wheat Scents too often. Um, you'll see a lot more of the, the 50s and, and whatnot. But uh, those are pretty nice. Then last but definitely not least, we have the six coin set that is NGC slabbed and certified. They're all perfect 70s. They're MS 70s, proof 70s, and reverse proof. So let's go through the first Morgan, the 2023 first day of issue, MS 70, NGC slabbed and certified. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a stunner. Then we have the next Morgan. There's three Morgans, three piece dollars. This is the Ultra Cameo proof, and it's a 70. Very, very pretty coin. Um, and it, it looks like they put a mint privy on there. I think that's an S. I'm not sure why it doesn't say it on the, the, the holder, but that's fine. Then we have the reverse proof, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, it does say S. <laughs> I just didn't see it. So my mistake. I see it right there now. It's also on the reverse proof. And look at how gorgeous the reverse proof is on there. And uh, the 2023 piece dollar, and I know there's some people probably going, well, Raven, how much are these? Uh, this set right here, if you go and try to look it up on eBay, it's all over the board. Um, here's the reverse proof. But on average, about $800 or so just for this set. Some people have paid as high as $1,200. Uh, but that thing is really, really cool. Uh, these right here. These are probably worth close to four seventy five, five hundred, give or take, because of what they are being vintage and everything. Um, you know, I think uh, four fifty is more than a safe bet as far as predicting what those are. These I think are worth about forty five bucks a piece, according to Gray Book, the Gray Sheet. Um, the eighty sixes I think are like sixty, sixty five bucks a piece. Eighty sevens are like forty five. 90s are like 52, 53. Uh, Merc dimes, I don't know the different dates, so I'd have to look it up. The Rosies, you know, four or five bucks for, uh, well, no, not four or five, more like three dollars a piece on the Rosies. Uh, same thing with the Barbers. I need to look those up individually to really know which ones are worth what. Some are worth more than others, but probably on average about 40 bucks a piece. Like I said, some a little higher, some a little lower. And, uh, that's about it. So if you want to correspond, it's ravenhawkcoins at gmail.com. Our PO box is 721-296, Norman, Oklahoma, 73070. Like always, please make sure to take care of one another, and we'll see you real soon. Ravenhawk Coins, have a great day.